Alright, so technically this isn't a live stream, but I haven't recorded the week one gameplay of the season yet, so we're gonna, we gotta do that real quick. All we're gonna do is the story mission, so it's gonna be a quick like 20 minute, maybe 15 minute video. It depends. If the deep dive's up right away, we'll do that, but if we have to do salvage first, then we're not gonna do that. But yeah, here's the week one stuff. The witness has moved beyond our reach. All attempts to funnel it. But there is still hope. On Neptune, we learned that a key to defeating the Witness lies hidden away on Titan. Now we know why the Witness's fleet came there when it first arrived. Deputy Commander Sloan held the line on Titan to the bitter end. Right up until the Witness took it. Then, we lost all contact. But now, just when we need it most, Titan has returned. And when it did, we were greeted with something we could have never predicted. To any Guardians listening, this is Deputy Commander Sloan requesting emergency support. This is the Priority One rescue operation. We have received a distress call on a secure Vanguard channel. The target of extraction is Deputy Commander Sloan. She was last seen on Titan before it vanished, during the arrival of the Pyramids. Our job is to triangulate where the distress signal is coming from, find the Deputy Commander, and get her out. I know what you may be thinking, but Sloan is one of the most tenacious, resilient soldiers I've ever known. If anyone could have survived this, it's her. Alright. So this is the Warlock gameplay right now. Just because I've done it on my Titan and Hunter. The Guardian has landed. I'm at our old LZ. No sign of Sloan or enemy activity. Extraction team. Well, from our, what I remember... Pretty well since the mission just happened last week, and I did play it again halfway through my Titan. This mission's kind of long for an opening mission. I've established a beachhead inside the new Pacific Arcology. No sign of the hive. Signal strike. Definitely cool, but especially this part right here, you had to spend like two minutes just killing like random taken enemies in here. I need to get my Aquarius Catalyst. So whenever I get the chance, I will be using Aquarius because I think I'm more than 50% done. I'm at 38. That's hard to... That's definitely a hard thing to process. I am close to getting uh, the shotgun deep sided, which would be nice. Also, I haven't played Warlock in a hot minute. I've been on Titan and Hunter for a minute. Before Lightfall ended, I was only playing uh, Hunter, but I wanted to start the season on the Hunter. And one more. Extraction team status. I love this gun so much. Minimal casualties. Tidal anchor is secure. 
And then the derelict. How cool it looks in the distance. Oh, I forgot I'm on Warlock. I'm just gonna ignore this part. Well, she owes me money. Oh, great. I thought she owes me a drink. I love French Barrel. Oh, more ammo. I need so many kills for this. I should have been working on it so long ago, but Acrius hasn't been good for so long. It only became good this season, I believe. Let's go, more ammo. And more shotgun ammo. Yeah, we gotta do like three of these too, I think. Three or four of them, I don't remember. I just know it's a lot. I also have to find a new build for Warlock because I used to run Starfire Protocol and we all know how that is right now. To use my super. There we go. For all you guys. Next one. Okay, I think it's only three. More heavy! Wow, let's go! Alright, I got two. I can move that. Should get a uh, battle song at some point. I don't know my gun feet overclocked to 15. What do I have? Healing Rift? I can't remember if it was healing or empowering. I know for a hot minute it was empowering. Look at all these builds I made, and they're all useless now. One, because I have different guns to use, and two, uh, season mods change. Almost all my armor, I guarantee you most of my armor has nothing in it that works. That's the one thing bad about having armor, or er, mods tied behind the season pass and stuff, or the artifact. For the season is because it'll eventually just go away. And you have to rebuild everything again. And it sucks doing. Is that more heavy? I don't think it was. Unless it fell through the gap, which it more than possibly could have. Also, shout out to Zevo Wrath being uh, in the season. I don't think anyone was expecting that, to be honest. They could have been, but I've been following up on all the leaks and whatnot, and I've heard nothing about Zevo Wrath being in the season. More 
We got that done. In rank 36. Gotta love French Barrel. Kill everything. It should be almost everything. Dude, Overflow is such a nice bird. Can you make up your mind? Okay. Thank you. I keep looking at my viewer count, I'm like, damn, I'm at zero, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not even streaming right now. The main reason I'm not streaming is because uh, I feel like there's nothing currently to stream for Destiny. I think I got everything out of the way, because I'm not doing Iron Banner right now. And also, I wanted to plan my Warlock. And he was the last person I needed for week one, so I needed to stream with him at least. Shout out to Titan being back. Such a great planet. Favorite D1 or favorite base game for D2 right here. I think next would have to be I with Pyramidian. But we'll never get Pyramidian back. I love that strike so much. That's lined up, that's lined up. Please only able to change this one, thank you. Back up, and then go back to it again. Here we go. Sometimes, uh, the other ones will get affected. And I don't know why. Just, I haven't even looked at everything. This is all corrupted at this point. Like, I know Titan was kind of getting corrupted beforehand, but now it's just, like, even more than before. Right, Speedrun. Speedrun. No, I didn't mean to jump. Hurry, open the door. I don't think I can make it down anymore. Alright, that's enough. I'm pulling you up before you and your ghost get blasted. Welcome to the derelict. I'm down in my warlock emote. Okay. On all my classes, I had a class specific emote. My warlock is this one. My hunter is the twirly knife, and I forgot what my titan one is. I think uh, we got it on. Uh, I think we talked about it earlier with Chase and whatnot. But like this entire mission, or not mission, this entire season is really beautiful and pretty. It's the fact that it seems like everything they're doing is trying to slow you down. And it's just annoying. Because we all know Destiny players love to go fast. I'm 
literally just built in our bloodstream. Our desire to be speedrunners. Look how pretty it all is. Guardian, you're almost at the source of the distress signal. I've acquired one of Drifter's devices. I'll be joining you momentarily. I do, like I said, it's definitely a unique feeling, but I really hope they don't continue going along the trend of slowing us down. Because it's not fun. It's pretty, but not fun. You're alive. Staying alive was the mission. And I always complete the mission. What up, Batty? We love Sloan. No wonder you called us, sister. Also, another out. comment. Weren't we supposed to you only have the Kavostov in cutscenes starting with this season? Me. Asha. We love Asha. Is it Asha or Asa? I think it's Asa. Also, every time I forget the Drifter has, like, fucking... Asian in him or something. He has that look. I always forget. Because we don't get a we don't get a uh, up close shots of him that often. Asha. What is that? An ally. Her name is Asa. Asa. You can communicate with it? It's complicated, sir. I get impressions, emotions, ideas. She knows our true enemy. The witness came for her species, too. Discrete concepts are harder. Even more now, since this. And you're still... You? Every bit. My light is holding this corruption back. But I can hear voices whispering. Demanding. It's like being tuned in to the enemy's radio. If we could strengthen my connection with Asa, I believe it would improve my ability to communicate through the noise. I got some ideas. I'll draw up some specs and drop by soon. Slow. I'm fine, sir. And I think I'm long overdue for a debriefing. As you wish. We'll reconvene at the helm. Beep. Bye, Asa. So I'm putting too much emphasis in it, it's just literally just awesome. Alright, are we doing deep dive or salvage? Because that depends on if we're continuing the video or not. Good to be back in contact with the Vanguard. It's an Hey there, hero. While you were taking a dip. Wait, salvage. Unlucky. Oh, there's really nothing about it. It's just a typical deep dive. But that's it for the week one stuff. Other than that, now we should all be caught up again. Code. Axe head. Yeesh. Yeah. That's it. Thank you all for watching.